Hello, over the next minutes I will explain to you how to install the Continuous Sync Supply System on Epson Stylus Photo PX660 printer. To start, open the printer lid and then turn the printer on. Now follow the instructions that appear on the main screen. Now press OK and wait for the cartridge carrier to stop in this position allowing me to insert the cartridges. Now unplug the printer You have to remove the cartridge carrier lid to be able to insert the continuous ink supply system cartridges For this you will need a regular screwdriver Just insert it here and gently rotate until you will be able to remove the lid completely now you can insert the six cartridges take them and just insert them gently Now you, you have to push them hard until you hear a very loud click. If you don't succeed, succeed from the first attempt, try to press them one by one. Next, we will have to set up the T-shaped support clip. This is the T-shaped support clip. You have to fix it at the half of the cartridge carrier scores from the uh, from the right to the left. Now we just fix it right here. Move the carriage to the right, take the in tubes, now twist them around the clip and after that just insert them into the clip. Now you have to set up the second clip. It will help you to fix the ink tubes on the right side of the printer. Just fix it right here. And now insert the ink tubes and close the clip. Now, try to move the cartridge carriers from the right side to the left side and then back. This, uh, this way you verify if the cartridge carrier scores is free. 
if it's not free uh, you have to adjust the ink tubes I need to adjust them a little bit you see this is how you can adjust them and now try again to move the cartridge carrier from the right to the left now we are ready to move to the next step this is about installing the air filters on the outer tanks these are the air filters you should install it right here but before pitch the outer tanks at 90 degrees, wait for a second and put them back now remove the small rubber caps one by one now you have to introduce the air filter, you have to insert it with the thicker part downwards where the smaller cap used to be Now turn on the printer and follow the instructions from the main screen again. Select your language and press OK. Now you can close the printer slit. And wait for the printer to finish its self-check program. After that you will be able to print. So this was the installation procedure for Epson Stylus Photo PX 660 printer